What is up, you guys? It's your boy Electroflame JD in the house, back again once again for a beautiful, wonderful self center revenge. And today, people, today we are here for E1 and M9, the graveyard on Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders. Thou art a Smite Meister difficulty. This will be done by 100% kills, items, and secrets. I hope you guys enjoyed the secret map with me, and let's get on with the show. How are you all doing today? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm doing marvelous. So, uh, it is Tuesday today. And I'm hoping you guys are enjoying your Tuesday morning, afternoon, and evening. But as for me, I'm going to enjoy this with death. This is a very, very interesting map indeed. And we'll get to that once we're done with this. For now, let us proceed with the walkthrough. So, gather as much materials as you can, and as you can hear. Ooh, look who's there. So what we're going to do is run. Run as fast as you can. Grab everything that you need. Run around like a mad person. And jump down. And what you need right now is your crossbow. Because what we're also doing is making those guys in fight. So, let's kill this guy quickly. So, if you notice why it's a graveyard, you will see the reason why. And your crossbow does a good job with Shadow Sphere monsters like this. Can I uh, get you guys to invite me? Here we go. Thank you. Appreciate you. Let me grab that. And let me use it. Let's use it right now. Make it very out. Okay, now do you see what? Ow! That hurts! I can use another one. Ow! Actually, no, I'm not gonna use that one. I do have the invulnerability, which, for the first time, we're gonna use it in this map. Really, truly, we're going to use it for the first time on this map. We grab some elixir while we're at it, and some shield, and some more health while we're at it. Now, let us check around this quickly. So here's the graveyard that we were beginning in, right? We have a green door with an elixir over there. Thank you very much. We have a dead end over here, but we can walk around it. We have a yellow door, but we don't have the yellow key or the green key. So the only place where we can go is up these stairs. So let's take these stairs up for ghost mummies! Let's do some quick work with them. And go around the whole building. And as you can see, here is the blue door. So we're not doing anything with the blue door just yet. And then we're going to be facing, once we're done here, our first difficult fight. It is quite tricky, so patience is the key point. There we go. Pat on the shoulder. Nicely done. Now then, we have done a full circle around this blue door over here which we don't have the blue key of so we are going through this regular door over here so to make a turn immediately and kill this mummy over here and this mummy over here look we have the yellow key and we also have uh, the uh, book of tombs over there so press the switch Wait for it to lower. Interact with it. And look! Two sorceress. And you die. Can you die, please? Thank you. Before leaving this room, turn around. And look at these two walls over here. They're the same, but not the middle one. Interact with this one for your first secret, which is the bag of holdings. 
And we got the yellow key. Proceed to the yellow key. Big warning though. You have to be quick. And it's noisy. So I apologize for ears. If no one can hear me, that's fine. So what we gotta do is go around in circles because yeah, of those guys. Grab the um the, 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 the uh, dungeon claw as quickly as possible and proceed going around in circles like this. It is easier, it's faster, and you won't get hurt, especially with those um, um, those flying lost souls that they, they are summoning. So, these dungeons, uh, these floors that goes up and down the whole time, just be warned, they do hurt. They don't hurt, but it's annoying. It really is annoying. So around here we have a switch that we can press so long. I only practiced this once, people. <laughs> Don't judge me. Here we go. Press the switch immediately. And if you got most of the flying enemies down. Then out. Yeah, you see? You see? I got hurt right now. Oh, we don't have most of the flying enemies. We have two more flying enemies. And if you go near them, they will still punch you. So, be warned. Okay. Come on. Whoa! You almost tried to scare me, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know what you are. You are part of one of the Egyptian mummies. Anyways, now that we've done all of that, Try to scare me again. You're going all the way up. That's good for me. And uh, <clears throat> again, I do apologize for the sound. Hello. There we go. There we go. Left up. So, once again, I do apologize for the sound, but I also need to collect some, ooh, some orbs over here. And there is one mummy down there, over there. Let's get rid of this mummy over here. Ow. Grab the green key. And then grab some what we, what's left over over here. Which quote unquote, I don't really need it. We should have enough. I have enough. Let's get out of here. It's too noisy for my ears. Anyways, now we have the green key. Let's put this to good use, shall we? There's lots of orbs over here. They give you a lot of orbs and um, lots of arrow quotes. But we're gonna make some sniper snipe as well. So, oh, and uh, in this room we do have a lot of these. Um, uh, these little flying imps over here. So let's make quick use of of the quilt of the um, crossbow again because it is fast and deadly if they get close to you. Or you can, if you want to, use the dungeon block. And uh, Dungeon Claw is also just as fast, it's just as quick, and uh, yeah. Now, I do hear mummies, and I'm going to snipe one of them right now with a Dungeon Claw. Just get down here to get my crossbow. Yeah, you get your crossbow a bit late here. Interact with the switch to open a wall for us. And, uh, yes, my heart is pounding very badly. I know that. So we've got 12 items. We should have 13. So, over here, there's a mist texture aligned wall over here. There's a invisible window. So, let's go up. Ah, yeah. You know what? I'd rather get 
Hello? Stupid. There's over there somewhere. Come on. Come on. I'm waiting for you. If I don't see holes over there, that's fine. So there's three of them. The third one's hiding over there, but that is fine. So you know what I'm going to be using? The Book of Tome. Because we're going to be using that for the next fight. A very, very deadly fight. So once you grab the yellow, uh, the blue key, <coughs> we're going to have a deadly fight coming our way. So what I like to do is the following. I want a little bit of chaos. I'm going to zoom in and use the Book of Tome and immediately get rid of these guys. Ow. And there you have it. Now the Book of Tomb does take a lot of my claw power out, but it's okay. There's the um, invulnerability mask that we need. And then the Wing of Wrath. Which, quote unquote, we're not going to use it today on this map. Instead, we're using this one today for this map. So I am hoping and praying I got all the items. So. We are okay with armor for now. Let's go door to door. This is what I like to do. Go door to door, door with a crossbow and then go hack. And then you're going to see the difference between the doom invulnerability compared to um, heretics invulnerability. And let me tell you something. It is awesome. Really, truly, it is awesome. Come on. There we go. And then, just for entertainment wise, I will be using my necromancing gloves. Wait. Stupid. So, this should be the last door? Yes. So, let's go to the second level. Collect the items that's over here. I'm really hoping I've got all the items. 80. One more item is in here. So, we've got the um, necromancing gloves here. And then, the fun part's gonna start. Flip the switch. Nope. Flip the switch. And let's do this. As you can see, I already got my um, vulnerability on. So. We're gonna have some fun. And I can't see ghosts. That's fine. Come on. That should be all of it. That is all kills and secrets. Item right here. Now we have all items. So let's get out of here. Woo! That was fun. That was really, really, truly fun. I only practiced this once, and look where it ended up. And you cannot say this is fun, really, truly. The story for this is all your monsters, except for the flying enemies, have got the Shadow Sphere on them, which means they can be invisible and make them look ghostly like. So that is basically what the graveyard level is supposed to be about. Your um, crossbow does a good job on most of those enemies, especially when they have um, the invisibility part on them. Because your crossbow with your magic spreads into four to three different directions. So therefore, if you think about it like a mancubi, how he shoots and how you straight, it's normally like right, left, right. With the, with the crossbow, it shoots one way. It shoots an arrow. 
but it splits up the arrow to get the rest of the enemies like that which is very awesome really truly it's actually very very awesome and having fun with this map chef's kiss really true chef's kiss you can see it's a graveyard you can see the the love that they gave gave towards this i really love it i really truly enjoyed it and i'm trying not to yawn here because i just woke up <laughs> okay my brain is fried really truly i'm gonna take a little break before i practice the next one for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video if you did hit that thumbs up for me over there and show youtube that you loved it if you didn't enjoy it you know exactly what to do subscribe to the channel for more support and hit that notification bell for when more of these walkthroughs playing let's play other game channel against whatever comes in your way guys and gals thank you once again for watching stay frosty stay safe stay strong stay healthy and remember one thing there is a flame that burns inside of you, so ignite it and flame on. Cheers guys, adios, cheerios.